car who led them on a high-speed chase in Christchurch with a woman and children inside. The car was seen in Avonside shortly before one this morning, speeding through a red light. The police say the driver failed to stop for them and fled at speed. They abandoned the, the pursuit several minutes later, but they followed the car, which they later found in Lincoln. It had caught fire and the driver fled on foot. The pursuit came just hours after a high-speed police chase near two South Auckland schools yesterday. Police shot at the car at a busy intersection in Manurewa before the driver was caught down the road. Jordan Bond has more. The incident began with reports a man had shot a gun on Auckland's North Shore just after 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. The police say a man fled the scene and wound his way around the city before arriving in South Auckland. Tracy Cooper was driving home from work at about 4.30 when she saw a speeding red Holden coming directly towards her on the wrong side of Roscommon Road. She had time to pull over as the car passed, followed by police cars flying at around 8 80 or 90 kilometres an hour in a 50k zone. Because it was quite far away, so I had a, a lot of time to sort of get myself out of the way. But I was just thinking, had it, had I been maybe even two minutes later, I would have been pulling out of Charland Ave, probably right into the path of that car, and I probably would have got collected on the way past because that car wasn't stopping. Ms Cooper says the cars were speeding through a busy residential area, so it could have resulted in a tragedy. There's two schools, there's still kids out playing on the road, and if someone had have, like, stepped down in front of them because there is a pedestrian crossing, they really had nowhere to go. She says an hour earlier it could have been different. It was lucky that it wasn't earlier because there would have been heaps of kids out there. And like I said, you've really got nowhere to go. There's, like, cars parked along the roadside and then you've got trees along the island. So unless you've got really good aim and you can fly yourself through between the trees, <laughs> it's a bit scary to think about, actually. Video of the incident shows the Red Holden driving the wrong way down a main road, skidding and completely turning around, followed closely behind by multiple police cars. Officers get out of their cars and shots are fired at the car as it drives off in the direction it came. Colwyn Quedley has lived on the road where the incident started, Potter Ave, for 38 years. He says the street in Northcote on the city's north shore has always been good until recently. He blames property development for an upheaval of what was a quiet area, which now attracts people who race their cars. Yesterday, there were even gunshots. With guns, it, it's a different situation, I think. It makes you feel really quite uncomfortable. You never know when anyone's going to turn up and blow your head off. <laughs> Mr Quedley says he has never felt as uncomfortable on his street than in the last two years. He says a chicane has been removed from the road and people now drive dangerously down it. A lot of the vehicles, when they travel down Potter Avenue, whichever way they're going, they're on the wrong side of the road. And I can, I can see a serious accident happening at some stage. You get a lot of vehicles that, that drive through at night with, with screaming exhaust, and they're really motoring, so, you know, you're waiting for the bang. He says it doesn't even feel like the street he used to live on. It just feels so different. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it was Potter Avenue even when we moved in in 1981. It just feels so different. The alleged offender was bitten by a police dog as he was apprehended. He was taken to Middlemore Hospital under police guard. The police say he will be charged with a number of driving and firearm related charges and the IPCA has been notified. Motihotaka o te ahi ahi nei, ko Jordan Bond tēnei.